Come on, say hi, Dad. Hey, everybody. Okay, well, this is uh, our full-scale Saturn V that we built to go with the uh, the Mercury Redstone. And you can't see out there, but whatever. And uh, everything's one-to-one -one scale. Took a oh, when was the last time we, you know, just about a month, month and a half to build this. Almost two. Almost two. Okay, so. That's not too bad. All right, should we uh, should we walk down there? You can see we don't have it completely assembled just yet. We uh, keep the transitions and storage elsewhere. Uh, a lot of people like to come see it. They're just astounded that we managed to get this all done in two months. It was very kind of the folks at NASA, Johnson Space Center, to offer to house this in their building for us. It cost a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> and Rice Krispie Treats. Yeah. <laughs> it was very strange that they just had a perfectly Saturn V size building laying around, but... We did offer them Tang, but they didn't seem to want it. Yeah. I mean, they probably got plenty of that laying around. And freeze-dried... Uh, Cracker Jacks. They didn't Price want those included. either. <laughs> yeah. The prize usually gets ruined though. Let's go through here. There's an awful lot of people. Yeah, well, yeah. Here was one of the tougher parts, getting that detailed nicely. Easy. <laughs> well, there was a handful of Wendy's straws in there, too. And those are just plastic balls for Kmart. Yeah. <laughs> you can get them for like, like 50. Here's the uh, decals that we ordered from Mark at stickershock23.com. Yeah, it was, uh, man, for what we paid for those, it was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> It'll be there shortly. Alright, here's some more detail work. Some more of those uh, plastic spheres you find usually in the toy aisle. Yeah, for, we uh, we bought a Subaru Brat. And people were offended that we did this because the car is so hard to find. But all the hoses on the on the car were accurate to scale for this thing. So we just had to tear it apart. Are, are you referring to the engine valve? What are they made of? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were, uh, I mean, it, it took a while to get the custom order done for party hats that big. But, uh, here's some more extremely detailed vinyl. Mark. Okay, so we are going to catch the tram back to Johnson Space Center, but I hope you enjoyed checking out our Saturn V. While rocking, Dad, do you want to uh, explain our motor choice of not using accurate F1s, just using the engine bells and a total of 800 million SDs D12s? Um, that was more just a supply thing, because we just happened to have them on hand. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, once we paid for the uh, decals and everything else, we just didn't have the money for the other motors, so we yeah. thought we'd go with what we had in the basement. Yeah, well, we are going to have a central E9 in there too, right? Yes. And incidentally, uh, the shape of the engine bell 
each engine bell, uh, when it does lift off, it will sound like uh, Vuvuzelas from some <laughs> soccer matches in England. <laughs> that is quite interesting. It will be something to, uh, you're going to want to record it. All right, guys. Well, it was good talking, so see you later.